Hello? Hello, Peter. How are you doing? Were you able to ask the old man about his mother being part Cherokee? Helio. No. I tried to get some answers out of him but you know how he is. Hey Tiger, what are you a dummy or something? Same answer as always. Man, that stinks. He just does not want to talk about it. Chris and I were going to go to the archive to look up his and mum's birth certificates. Maybe that will help. Okay, that might have the old man's parents' age. You can then look them up and see who their parents were. They were both born in Quincy. Chris said Regina wanted to find out more about the Warners too. I guess since I gave Natalie the middle name Warner, I should know more about them. So when are you going there? We are going to meet Wednesday morning. I will pick him up and the archive is out by UMass. I will have to drive up from Rhode Island. Well that will be an early start for you. Hope the traffic is not too bad. Give me a call and let me know what you find out. This is cool you guys are doing this. I know mom used to say the Warners were here before the revolution. There was Seth from back in the Battle of Bunker Hill and Frank from the Civil War. It would be cool to find the records on that. Once Chris and I get started and learn how to check this back, he will have to do some without me. I can't drive up every day. Yeah, that is for sure. I just hope he has the time. I will talk to you soon. Let me know how it goes. Love you, bro. Okay I will. Hopefully by Thursday. Love you too. So how about we grab a seat and talk about how we are going to do this? Well according to the lady at the front desk, we will need to go up to the third floor and look for the birth books for the years we need. Once we find the right books, we look to see what microfilm reel has the info and go get it. We load it and see if it has anything on our parents. Right, I got that part. I mean who is going to look up who or do we do both together? Oh, I see. How about we do both together for mom and the old man and then we can separate looking up our grandparents. That sounds like a plan. Let's get on an elevator and head on up. She said we would need to leave our personal stuff and in bags in the locker for security reasons. This locker room crap is brutal. How do we know someone will not take our stuff? Besides, what do they expect people to take the books and microfilm? There are not even any locks on these. What a joke. You need to insert a quarter, turn the key, open the door, put in your stuff, close the door and pull out the key. Okay, I got it. My stuff better be here when I get back. There will be hell to pay if my wallet is missing. Okay. Let's set up in this cube. Do you have some of that scrap paper to write on? Yes, I got about ten pieces. Can't believe how cheap they are. We had to pay five bucks to join. We can't even get clean paper. At least they have these little pencils. Yes, well they will do for what we need. We will print copies of whatever we find. Probably throw out the notes. Maybe we better hold on to the notes in case we have to come back. We won't have to start all over again. Anyway, looks like from what I saw the Boston records are separate from the Quincy records. We know Mom was born February 13, 1926. We can start there, then try for the old man. Okay, bring a piece of paper and the pencil for notes. Let's go check out the Boston births for 1926. Write taken on the other paper so no one takes our spot. All right. Slide over a bit so I can see how you are loading that thing. It is never easy. Don't they know about CDs or DVD discs to store stuff? These are dinosaurs. Okay, according to the book, we need to advance to page 157. That is where we should find mom's birth record and her parents. Oh my god, there it is. Teresa W. Brown, daughter of Jeremiah J. and Anna W. McGuinness. So now we have the exact name of mom's parents. Not just that, it has their address and ages. 
Now we know what year to go to for their birth info. Just hope they were born here. Gee, Jeremiah was born in 1902 and Anna was born in 1894. I guess she was a cradle robber. Look, on the far right it has their country of birth. Anna is Boston USA but Jeremiah is Cork Island. I guess that is the end of the trail on him. We should still be able to trace Anna. Hopefully to the Warners. Okay, print that out and respill the reel. We have to go look up the old man stuff and get his parents info. Okay drop off this reel and go check out the old man. I think he was in 1925. I just don't understand it. We looked at 1924, 1925 and 1926 but nothing on the old man. Maybe they just did not record his birth for some reason. Well he was not just hatched. We know Julio was his dad and Helen was his mother. Julio has same last name but not sure about Helen. Well, there is one other thing we can try. I saw marriage books over there. I know they were married on Christmas Day in either 48 or 49. Why don't we give those a try? Well it is worth a try. Which way are those books? Over here. Okay, I will try it this time. Let me have a cassette. Man I can't get this thing started. My big fingers keep getting in the way. Okay there it goes. Now what page do I go to? The book said it was page 422. Probably near the end since they were married near the end of the year. Bingo, you were right. Here it is. Marriage certificates for Leo P and Teresa W. No wonder we could not find him. He was born in 1930. Looks like it also has parents for both with their age. Old man was Julio C. and Helen Frazier. Based on the age, she was born in 1905 and Julio in 1904. So we can get the old man's birth record now that we have the right year and then see about Julio and Helen. Print that out. Yeah well I am not going to look up anything until I get some lunch. I am starving. Let's go get some burgers and come back later. It is open until 4 p.m. I tell you what. How about we just look up Julio and Helen and then go for the day. I have to head back to Rhode Island before the evening traffic. Okay but if we don't find anything on them in an hour, I am out of here. Hello, may I speak to Mark C please? This is his brother Leo. Yes, I will hold on. Mark, hi this is Leo. Great good and you? Nice, that sounds good. Are they going to pay you more? Excellent. Well Mark, the reason I called is I need a favor. Not sure if Chris told you but we have been working on building a family tree. We really don't know much about our family beyond mum and the old man so we wanted to try. Yes, it has been nice but it is time consuming. We had to go to the archive to get the info on our grandparents. There is something you can do to help. Well since you work at City Hall, maybe you can go down to the records area and get an official copy of mum's birth certificate. Chris is going to try for the old man's. Since they had a tough divorce, we decided not to bother with a copy of their marriage certificate. Oh you can. During lunch. Excellent. I will be picking Chris up Sunday morning to come down to watch the Patriots game. I will pick up the copy then when I get him. Thanks so much Mark. Oh yes, when it is done I will make copies for everyone. Regina and Peter already said they would like one. Not sure how far back it will go but we are trying. Okay. Love you too. See you Sunday morning. Goodbye and congratulations. Man, that traffic down 95 was brutal. Should have known being a home game it would stink. At least it was okay once we got past Foxborough. I need a cold bud. Yes, I guess I was being a real retard on that one. At least we got here before the game started. Drink up and let's get ready to kick some jet butt. Edith said she would bring in some chips for us and at halftime, she has ziti and meatballs. That sounds good to me. I am starving. Only had two English muffins and coffee before you came. 
I could use some chips and dip. I don't know what the crap is going on here. Brady has been sacked three times. We are down 14 to zip at half time. I am not liking this at all. Okay boys. Here is the food. Hope you enjoy it. Slow down a bit on the bears. You driving Chris home later? That looks awesome, Edith. Those chips were good but did not last too long. We will chow this down. Thanks, Chris. I will be back in a while. I am going to make copies of the family tree documents you got and make folders for everyone. Enjoy the food and game. Go Pats. Honey, we will need a copy for Chris, Mark, Mike, Peter and Regina. Anyone else can let me know later. Okay, no problem. Speaking of that, I forgot to ask you how it went getting the old man's birth certificate. It was a no-go. I got there with all the info but they said it would cost 25 bucks for an official copy. I don't have that extra money sitting in my pockets. If I stay over tonight, maybe we can go there tomorrow and you can get it on the way to my house. You can add it to the folders for everyone. Oh, I see. Well I guess that means we can have a few more beers today if I am not driving you home. We better eat up though before the second half starts. Oh brother, what an ending. Brady hits Gronkowski for a 55-yard bomb with 3 seconds left and we win 21 to 20. Screw you Rex Ryan. I love it. I just love it. That means we win the division and the Pats get a bye for the playoffs. Wait. Hold on. Did you see that commercial? It said something about family trees. Can you use the remote and go back a bit? Sure. Is this what you mean? Ancestory.com commercial. Yes. That is it. Ancestory.com. Maybe that can help us. Honey. Honey. Edith. I need a pen and paper. The kids took them out of here again. I have to write this info down. It is important. Yes, Leo. Here is some paper and a pen. What did you guys do lick the plates clean? We were pretty hungry and it was so good. Well, you guys got to clean up. I heard you say the Patriots won. That is great. Yes, we shall, honey. I think this commercial might help with the family tree stuff. It is called ancestorystory.com. I will try it out later. Okay, so why are we using Lee's computer for this site? Is yours broken? My computer is doing a scheduled backup and will be unavailable for a couple of hours. This should not take very long. Probably useless but want to check it out. Okay, but I am going downstairs at 6 to watch a movie. This family tree stuff was bad enough at the archive. I am not even sure I care about it. I will need to go into Internet Explorer and then search the site. I got that paper right here. Alright so from here I type A N S E S S S T O R Y C O M and hit OK. That should bring us to ancestorystory.com site. Right so type it in. I am going to get a beer. Do you want one too? Ah what the heck why not? Might as well have fun doing this. There is another six pack in the fridge downstairs. Don't let Edith see you. I will wait for you to come back before I do anything in the site. Try to be quick. Okay, there was a six pack and a couple of loose ones. That should do for now. Excellent. Edith did not see you? No, I think she is in the kitchen doing dishes. Okay, let's see what this site is all about. Well, it looks like it has two options. A user who can do a limited search or a member who gets the whole database. It looks like a variety of record types. What types does it have? There is marriages, deaths, social security, census, church baptisms, stories, military records and ship manifests. Well, the Frank Warner was supposed to be in the Civil War according to Mom. Try to see how to do a military search on him. Okay, military records. Frank Warner, 1860 to 1865. Let's see what happens. No records found. I don't understand. This one has to be right. We know mom had middle name Warner and her mother Anna had middle initial W. 
that supposedly came from Frank. He had no sons. He asked his last daughter to give her firstborn daughter the middle name Warner to carry on the name. Heck, I gave it to Natalie. Wait a second. Family will call a guy Frank but the military would have him as Francis. Frank is short for Francis. Okay, try it again. Military records. Francis Warner. Years 1860-1865. Enter. Oh my god. There he is. Francis H. Warner. Massachusetts 32nd Infantry. From Charlestown, Mass. He was a fireman. Just like Mom said. Wow. Let me see that. Nice. Look there is a view records option. Click that and see what it shows. Records viewable to members only. Please sign up now to get full pleasure of building your very own family tree at AncestStory.com. Crap. Should have known. How much is that going to cost? 500 bucks. There is always a catch to these websites. They pull you in and then cha-ching. Well actually it is only $37.50 a month. It also has a yearly option for $350. I think I can handle the $37.50 option for a month. I can use my PayPal account to pay it. It is up to you. Just forget about getting the old man birth certificate then. Okay so if you sign up, what happens? Okay, I am signed up for the month option and it is now highlighting the view record option. Nice, look at that. It has his military record card. Enlisted August 1862. Mustered out April 1864. He was in the war practically the whole time. He must have enlisted right away. A true patriot. Says his birth year was 1832, it also says he had an alias of Frank Warren. I wonder if he was a spy at some point during the war. The Warren family was very old in Boston. Click on the option to show battles for Mass 32nd Infantry. Okay they fought in Fredericksburg, Mine Run, Laurel Hill, Petersburg, Gettysburg and it says they were one of the companies present to accept Lee's surrender at Appomattox. Wow, that is cool. Our great, great grandfather was there when the Confederacy surrendered. All those burgs though are making me hungry. I am going to make a cheeseburger and go watch my movie downstairs. Make sure you print that stuff out or save it or something. Yes, there is an option to save Francis to my tree but I don't have one yet. I will see how to do that while you watch the movie. Need the bathroom first. Okay, let me know how that goes later. Now that feels much better. I guess you really do only rent them. Let's see how this tree building option works. Okay so I select make tree and put in my info. Then I put in Edith and the kids. Then my siblings. Then my mum and old man. Oh look at that. An orange grew on my parents box. Roll the mouse over the orange for database suggestions. I guess there is info in here related to both of them. Wow. Look at that. The data from the 1930 census came up under mum. It has her parents and each of her siblings. I can add each one to her branch of the tree. I see her dad was Jeremiah J. Brown same as Uncle Jerry. I guess he is a junior like me. Mom's brother Leo is there. Too bad he dies so young. Kidney problems. Now let's see what is in the old man's orange. Ah, the 1930 census of course. That was a very informative census indeed. There is Julio Joseph, Helen P., and the baby old man of one years old. Ah, but who is this Leo Frazier at the age of 22? That must be Helen's younger brother. Her maiden name is Frazier. Lot of Leos in the tree. So, I got Jeremiah J. Sr. back to a boat from Cork Island into New York in 1920. Looks like he married Anna soon after he arrived. Green card? Maybe. I found his mother living in New York in 1900 census. She was Julia. She caught a boat to New York from Cork in 1898. Gee, Jeremiah J. was born in 1898. Julia had to leave her baby behind and did not see him for 22 years. 
I remember mom said she got the kids over one at a time. Jeremiah was last. Julia is the end of that branch as no records from Ireland. Julio C. was born in 1904 and his parents were Pro Peter C. and his mother was Giovanna Joan Selici. I see we are related to Govina Selici, they came over directly from Italy in 1892. Nothing more on them as no records from Italy, so let's see if we can find Frank's line. Looking at Anna, her maiden name was McGuinness. I will have to try older census to find her parents. And there she is in 1920. She was born in 1892, living with her mother Teresa F. McGuinness at the age of 28. She must have been getting worried and married the younger Jeremiah J. Looks like mom was named after her grandmother. Anna had a sister Teresa as well. There are almost as many Teresas as there are Leos. It looks like Anna's father was not living with them in 1920. Maybe an earlier census could help. Leo, you still on that site? Did you find out much? Did I ever? I got mom and the old man's branches going back to their grandparents. I have not done Helen yet but she is next. Well that is really interesting but I am going to sleep. It is midnight and I am tired. You going to bed? No, not just yet. I want to do more on Helen and see if I can get to Frank. I will see you in the morning. I better clean up these empties too. Good night. Thanks Chris. I would have gotten them. Oh, I got a ping. Someone on Facebook perhaps? Ah Michael. He is in Arizona. Three hours behind us. I have to let him know about this ancestorycom site. Let's see. Hello Mike. How are you? I am working in a family tree site. Lots of good stuff. Honey, what are you doing? It is very late and you need to go to bed. You got to get the kids up in the morning. I am chatting with Mike on Facebook. I have also been doing research in that family tree site. Found a lot of stuff. Lee is at Jeff's so I just have to get Nally. Okay but come to bed soon. Tell Mike I said hi. Mike, I have found our grandparents and great grandparents on this site. I just need to find Helen's branch. I am getting close on the Warner branch already. I can give you the site address and you can use my logon and password to see what I have done so far. Here it is. Do webcam in FB. Yes, that is a good idea. Hold on and I will send request. Hi Leo. Now I can see you. Hold on while I go into that site. Okay, I am in. Do I click on the tree option? Yes, that is the one Mike. It should show you what I have done so far. Oh yeah. I see you guys and all of us and four branches for our grandparents. You got Julio back through his parents. Jeremiah through his mother. Nothing for Anna and Helen? Well I am working on Anna right now. I have her mother who was also named Teresa. I do not have her maiden name yet. I was just about to check out one of the options. Watch the screen. Nothing much on the 1910 census. There is a guy named Hammond. Maybe a relative. I will try the 1900. Now looky here. Anna is now 8 year old Annie. Her mother and the other kids are there without the father. The oldest woman is Anne Warner and then the Hammonds. Wow, okay so that means Anne was the mother Warner. Maybe Frank's wife. She had her two daughters Teresa and Catherine living with her in Charlestown, look at that. Teresa McGuinness's oldest son was Frank W. I wonder if he had the middle name Warner like Annie. Frank Warner's kids really loved him to keep the family name. That is for sure if Teresa gave it to a son and daughter. Looks like end of the line for Frank McGuinness. He was born in Ireland and no records from there. I will check older census for Teresa Warner to see if she is there before marrying McGuinness. This is kind of time consuming. It is a lot faster than the archive. Chris and I could just barely get past mum and the old man there after five hours. Oh. So Chris has been helping you on this tree stuff? Yes, we went to the archive last week. 
He is here today but went to sleep. We watched the Patriots together. He saw some of this sight before going to bed. Great game. I only saw the highlights but Brady was like fluty at the end. What a bomb to Gronkowski. Chris and I celebrated appropriately. Anyway, let's see about Teresa in an older census. Man. I can't believe it. There she is in the 1880 census at 13. Her mother Anne and sisters Catherine and Elizabeth. There is an older woman Catherine Jinsardin. Maybe she is Anne's mother so her maiden name might be Jinsardin. Now I can add Teresa Warner as Anne McGinnis's mother. Need to verify Anne Jinsardin though. I looked at the original record and Jinsardin might be wrong. What about Frank Warner? Looks like he was not there in 1880. I wonder where he was. Hold on. The original record says Jin Sardin is friend. Not Anne's mother. I can do a census search on Frank. Let's try the 1870 record. Oh my god Mike. Do you see that? There is Francis H. Warner married to Anne with daughters to Isa and Kate. Elizabeth was not born yet. He was a fireman. That original record shows there was a Murphy family living at the same address as Frank and Anne. Maybe Anne is a Murphy. Could be. I will add Francis as Teresa's father and see if we can find more on Anne. This is great we were able to trace the family back to the old tale of Frank Warner. Oh look at that. A little orange popped up next to Frank's name. What does the orange mean? He likes orange juice? No it means there are suggestions in the system about him. I will take a look. Oh, he has marriage record, military, more census and death. We'll see the marriage first. Okay says he was married to Anne Murphy in 1865 at the age of 33. She was 21. So that Murphy family was Anne's older brother's family. Let's check death record. Death was December 2nd 1872 from Lockjaw. Poor guy. You know? That was the year of one of the great fires in Boston. He must have been hurt by the fire and died from it. A hero. Nice thought. We do not know for sure from that record. For all we know, he could have stepped on a nail on the way home from the bar. Well the military record is pretty specific. Chris and I did a search on him earlier. He was in a lot of battles including Gettysburg and was in a Pomadex when Lee surrendered. Nice. How about the census? What does that have? Well the only other one is in 1850. Strange. It says he was 19 and living in Wellfleet, Barnstable, Massachusetts. I would think it should say Charles Town. No parents listed. Maybe he was living on his own down there. Big shipping back then and whaling. I got to go Leo. It is midnight here. Must be three there. You better go too. That is unusual. My screen just went totally black for a second. Now the sight is back. Really? Mine too. I guess that means time to go. I will check it tomorrow and see if you found anything else. Okay, I will just try a little longer to see if I can find Frank's parents in Charlestown in the 1830s. Talk to you soon Mike. Frank you are not making it easy on me. You are nowhere to be found before 1850. You are supposed to be in Charlestown for 1840. I need to find your parents to get to Seth. How am I supposed to get to the Battle of Bunker Hill without Seth? There has to be another option here. I would hate to see that you are the end of the Warner branch. I have pretty much exhausted all I can try from this site. I think it is time to move on to Helen. Okay, so I last got Helen in the 1930 census with her brother Leo Frazier. She was probably not married to Julio in the 1920 census so I will look for her as Helen Frazier. Okay, well let's try 1910. Nothing. Helen is starting to look a lot like Frank. I seem to remember she did have a little beard on the chin. Only saw her as a very young boy. Hold on, an orange just popped up on Julio. There seems to be another family tree with him as part of it. Yes, look at that. Helen Fraser. Mother was Bridget Fraser. Now look at that. Bridget in the 1910 census had a boy Leo. B. Kelliher. 
I wonder if Helen and Leo were adopted. Let me try Helen Kelly her in 1910. My God. There she is with her brother Leo B and her mother. There is an older woman Bridget Beard also. I saw a beard guy under Bridget Frazier. Helen and Leo are actually Kelly her. Something happened to their parents and they ended up with their aunt who was Frazier. Looks like before that it was Beard. Fitting. Her father John Kelleher went back one more generation to his father Patrick and ended. Her real mother Elizabeth went back to Bryant Beard born 1831. Bryant was married twice. Once to Mary Sharon and then to Bridget Hart. Both from Charles Town. Mary died and he married Bridget. No record of Bryant in the Civil War. He was in the right age range. Must have been a problem. Well now, he had two great grandfathers who fought in the Revolution and were both present at the Battle of Lexington and Concord. Now that is awesome. Isaac Beard. And Recompense Wadsworth. The branches are really starting to open up as I go back. So many oranges to follow, for generations back from Bryant and there are five families with branches on both the mother and father. I think this is going to take a while. The direct beard line stops in 1645 with Andrew. His wife's family is Holden and they go back to 1320 to Simon. His wife Alice was planted in it. What is this? The Royal Bloodline Special. A free feature I can use at will because I am from the European Royal Bloodline. I did not see royalty. Unless. Of course. It must be Alice. As soon as I opened her up, I got the Royal Bloodline special. Accept button it is. Leo what are you doing? Have you slept at all? It is time to get Natalie up for school. Come on, get off that thing. Honey, you won't believe what I have discovered about my family. We are of royal blood. I have just reached that point and got a free special feature. It will come in the mail. Could you please get Natalie ready? I am at a critical point right now and can't just drop it. Can I also get a big cup of coffee? You are pushing it with the coffee. You are lucky I love you but you still need to get some sleep. Yes, of course. As soon as I see what this royal bloodline is all about. I'll bring the coffee after Natalie eats. Oh, now what? Who is this so early? Hello. Who is it, Peter? Hello. Sorry about that. I have been having a lot of interruptions. No, no. I can talk. As a matter of fact I want you to see something. Can you go on Facebook and do video chat? Excellent. I will be on in a second. See ya. Ok hi Peter. I see you in the little window. You will not believe. I see you too. Hold on a second. What happened at the archive? You are supposed to call me back. Did you find out anything? I'm sorry. Chris and I went but it was very slow going. We got good info on mom and the old man's real birth year from their marriage certificate. By the time we got the old man's correct birth year, it was too late to get his info. Mark got a copy of mom's birth certificate at City Hall. Then you got nothing on his parents or Holland being part Cherokee. Not from the archive. I found something much better. A website called ancestorystory.com. I have found some awesome info. I became a member last night. I can give you my info and you can go in to see what I have done. You will be amazed. Oh yes, I see the branches of the tree. You have Mons, Brown and McGinnis. You have the old man's Carter Ellie and Kelleher. Who is Kelleher? Kelleher is Helen's real last name. She was adopted by her aunt Nettie Frazier. She is not really a Frazier. How about Seth Warner? Did you find him as a Revolutionary War hero? Actually I was not able to get to Seth. I was able to get to Frank and could not find his parents. He stopped at the 1850 census. Good info on Frank in the Civil War and being there when the Confederacy surrendered. What are these oranges next to some people? Do they like screwdrivers? It means the system has some kind of suggestion to help you find data on them. All the lines stop by the mid-1800s except Helen's. Take a look at hers. Wow, her line goes back to the 1300s. 
I see Hellas Punta Janet as an arrow next to her. What if I click the arrow? Whoa! My screen just went totally black for a second when I hit the arrow. What was that all about? Mike and I had that happen to us last night. I don't think it is anything. I had no problems after it happened. Check out Alice's branch now that it is open. Like that. Geez, look at all that royalty. Kings of England. Kings of France. I see King Louis in Longshanks. This is unbelievable Leo. You did all this last night. I have been at it non-stop since after the Patriots game. Chris went to bed. Mike came on for a few hours and I just could not stop. I will stop soon though and get some sleep. That is a good idea. I got to go but will try you tonight. After you wake up. Have a good rest. Leo, you got up and you're right back at it. Okay bye Peter. Talk to you tonight. Actually Chris, I have not slept yet. There is too much here. We have royal blood. What do you mean royal blood? Are you going batty from lack of sleep? No. Really, take a look at this. It is from Helen's line. Kings of England and France. That is nice. Edith asked me to go with her to Home Depot since you need to sleep. We will be back this afternoon. She told me to tell you to sleep. Yes, I am going in a few minutes. Thanks Chris. Now that they are gone, I can work in peace. There are so many to check out. There must be a hundred oranges on this branch alone. Time to get started. Okay, so back to Alice. Should I look down the King of England hole or King of France? I think France. I do not know much about the French. Louis IX breaks into the Capets and Plantagenets. Let's try Capet. I think that means head or chief. Here we go. I have the 9th century. Robert the Pious, King of France. There is Louis I, Emperor of the West. My God. His father was Charlemagne, Charles the Great. Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. Yes. His uncle was Charles Martel II, King of Italy. That was the early 800s. It seems to go into Germany as well. The royal families all married each other. So many oranges. Here is another one. Igor the Great, ruler of Russia. His father, Rurik the Viking, first Tsar of Russia. I can't believe this. We have Viking blood too. There is Sigurd, king of Sweden. Another Viking in the mid 700s. That was when the Vikings kicked European butt. I see E. Arbor Wessex, king of Kent. That was before England was a country. They go back to the mid 500s. I wonder if this will go back to the Romans. Here is one I like. Leo, Emperor of the Byzantine Empire. Now I know that is a remnant of the original Roman Empire. I will go back and try the King of England branch. Ah, it looks like William the Conqueror, King of England. He was also known as William the Bastard. That is funny. There is Lady Godiva. Imagine. She was real and I relative. There is also Roger Cockworthy. Wonder how he got that name. Honey, you are still at that seat. What is wrong with you? You have to sleep. Lee and Nally will be home shortly. You are becoming an addict with this stuff. It will be there when you get up. By the way, a package from Ancestory.com came for you. It must be the one for the Royal Bloodline special. May I see that please? Go right to bed after you open that. I am going to be in the kitchen. This looks like one of those easy buttons. There is instructions with it too. Oh, got a ping. It is Mike. He says he just got a package from AncessStory.com. It is an easy button. He spoke to Peter and he also got one. Mike, let's do a Facebook session. I will call Peter to join as a conference video. Okay see you in there. What the heck is going on? Peter, hi. Mike told me you got the package as well. We were going to do a Facebook video to talk about it together. Okay see you in a bit. You do not look so good Leo. No I am okay. After this call, I will go get some sleep. Promise. Mike you there? 
Great. Peter? Excellent. Chris is here with me? Okay, so we all got the package. I opened mine and it is a kind of easy button. Okay, same for you. There were instructions as well. It said to go to Manage Branches menu and click the Royal Offer selection. Then press the easy button. Alright, I guess we can all do it. Leo, what the heck just happened? I felt all tingly and then we are suddenly in this strange place outside. That button did something. Apparently it did. Exactly what, I do not know. It looks like it has put us into some undeveloped area. Maybe if I press it again. Hold on there. Not so fast. Maybe you should examine it more first. See if there are any markings to show how to get out of here. There is nothing on it at all. Not even a trademark. I will press it. Nothing. We are still here. It has to do something. It got us here. Let's look around. See if we can find anyone or a place to make a phone call. I have my cell phone. I will call Edith to come and get us. No service. It has no bars at all. There is not even power. I had it charging all night too. Strange. You know this place looks kind of familiar in a weird way. We are up on this hill. Let's walk over to the edge and look down the side. Oh God. This is exactly what I thought. This is the top of Ronan Park before there was a park. Look down there. Dorchester Harbor. Out there in the harbor. Is that some kind of a pilgrim ship? It is a wood vessel with masts and sails. Do you think that button somehow transported us back in time? This place has not looked like this for a few hundred years. I don't know. It could be the Royal Special is a time travel feature. Looks like there is a rowboat coming ashore down there. Let's go see who that is. Okay, here they come. One guy standing on top up front. He might be the leader. Come on. Down to the beach area to greet them. Hello there. How are you? Who are you? Good day sirs. I am Roger Clapp from the ship Mary and John. We have anchored in this fine harbor. May I request an answer from you? Roger Clapp is a distant uncle. He and his brother Edward founded Dorchester in 1630. He is our ninth great-grand-uncle. This means we are in Dorchester in the year 1630. Question is, how do we get out of here? The button won't work. Maybe we have to do something here first and it will activate the button. Let me see what he needs from us. We help and then wash. We are back home. Okay Roger old chap, what is your question? Will it ever we can do to help? Well, we seem to be lost. We had intended on inclusion to the Plymouth Plantation but have ended up here. I see no structures and the only people are you. Would you be able to direct us towards the Plymouth settlement? To be honest Roger, that place is not all it is hyped up to be. Not very good soil for crops and hostile Indians. You might be better off starting up your own place here. Where did you come from in England? We departed from the good port of Dorchester in Dorset. Well then there you go. Call this place Dorchester and make it your own. Who needs Plymouth? We will have to look around and see if there is a good place to make safe homes. We have heard the Indians are fierce and attack the settlers. Yes, yeah, that is a good idea. We have been here a little bit so we can show you around. We should head up the hill. You can see everything from there. Very well. It should be dark soon and we will need to be back on board. I will tell my men I am going to look around. Sounds like a plan. So Roger, from up here you can see everything. The harbor, the lowland, the river over there. Would be a good spot to establish a little village. It is a perfect location. I do not see any signs of savages here. I think you might be right. I will have to convince the good folk on board to accept this as their new home. Oh God in heaven, there is a wild savage behind the bushes there. I knew this was a bad idea. I am off to the boat. Better come too. That Indian is just checking us out. I will go over there and see what's up. I got some cookies I can give him to make friends. Be careful. I will go stop Roger the Dodger there. It is okay. You guys can come back. He is friendly. Like chocolate cookies. He is a Cherokee chief. Has a daughter for you Roger. 
A daughter you save. It has been a long voyage and the single ladies are spoken for. Hi Chief. I am Roger. Welcome to Dorchester. Looks like Roger is going to be just fine. Try that darn button again and let's go home. So I guess it is true. Helen does have some Cherokee blood in her. Okay here it goes. It worked but not to where we wanted. No idea where we are now. It looks like a European town but it is deserted. Except. Look, that is Peter and Mike. Leo, what is going on? I got transported to Lexington and Concord. I had to convince Hazard you to fight. The need took the first shot. The boatman would not work until then. Are you saying that Hezekiah Richardson is the one who took the shot heard round the world? Yes after I told him to man up and get out in the line with the other men of men. He got chewed up by his commander for not waiting for the whites of their eyes. I was with Frank Warner until the end. Poor guy stepped on a nail coming from a bar after a big fire in Charlestown. It was really a sad moment. His wife and girls were there and he asked Teresa to give the middle name of Warner to her firstborn girl to carry on the name. They were to do the same. He was a hero during the fire saving five children after I pushed him to go into the burning building. He was a real hero. We just came from Dorchester in 1630 with Roger Clapp. His boat had just arrived and they wanted to go to Plymouth. We had to convince him to stay and found Dorchester. Oh yes, Peter. We also hooked him up with a Cherokee chief's daughter. So I guess Helen does have some Cherokee in her from way back. Okay so you guys all got a button. Press it at the same time. Each of you want to a different ancestor from our family. Why are we all here and what is this place? I know once I got my nutton to work again, I was hoping to go back home. Maybe we were all tested individually and now it is as a group. We do this and go home. Maybe. I arrived outside of town. I saw a sign for residents of John Cockworthy. He was on one of the branches. Cockworthy? Was he a big strapping guy? I wondered how he got that name. Was he a Casanova or something? No, not quite. He was a spindly little guy. Apparently he owned a chicken farm and at the best roosters for cockfights. They were always fought before a jousting match. I also saw a sign and the name of the place is Coventry. There were people out then and all of them were calling me Tom. That is what they call a stranger. Ring a bell. Coventry. Yes. Oh no. The streets are empty. We need to get indoors quick. Lady Godiva is about to make her ride through the streets. Over here, the door is open a bit. We can go in there until she passes. How long are we supposed to stay in here? I would say half an hour. That should give her time. She did a great thing for the people of this town to lower the tax her husband wasn't fecking on them. She wasn't even naked. Good looking but have had better. Nice horse too. Mike, I do not think you were supposed to see her. Now who are these people coming up the street looking very mad? What are they saying? They are saying peeping Tom, peeping Tom. They got some big knives. You better get out of here. Hit your buttons boys. Looks like we are still not in Kansas. Where are we now? Anyone got an idea? Well since you made the tale of Peeping Tom come true, it is probably a bad place. Would not be surprised if we are in caveman times now. I never heard of this Lady Godiva. I did not know they would react that way for checking out a hot chick. Back off. Okay guys, this is not helping our situation. What happened, happened. To me this looks kind of like the Eagles countryside. Looks like something is going on down there. Let's go take a look. My god, those are medieval soldiers and knights. This must be the site of William the Conqueror's Battle of Hastings. That must be him on the horse rallying the troops. We better stay here in the bushes while we watch. He was William the First, Conqueror of England. He is our 30th great-grandfather. He established Norman rule over the Saxons in 1066 by defeating Harold II. Something seems to be wrong. William has been injured. Didn't you say he wins this battle? 
How does he do the injured? Tug them to take him over here. Get him out of his night gear. We will have to help with the wound. Put pressure on his leg while I put a tourniquet. Okay. They should be able to clean and dress his wound now. Hey what is Mac doing? He put on William's gear and headed to the battle. Don't worry boys. I have to make up for Lady Godiva. Victory to the Normans. Smashed the Saxon dogs. Excellent. Edward is dead and the Saxons have surrendered. They all think Mike is William. He better come back here. Well that went pretty good. I think William will still be known as Conqueror. How is he doing? Sir Knight, you are my armor and led my men to victory while I lay here injured. I owe you so much. I can bestow a baton hood on you. No thank you William. You are now William the Conqueror of England. My brothers and I will just want to go home. Let's help him up so he can go back to his men and celebrate. Unfortunately, the buttons are still not working. There must be something else to do here. Let's go with William back to his castle and get some food. This was Harold's hall but now it is mine. Please enjoy this feast I have put out for you good sorcerers. This shall be your last before I place you in the dungeon. No one will know that it was not me that defeated Harold. Enjoy. You ungrateful bastard. I don't think that will be happening. Chris, grab a turkey and let's hit the buttons. Let it be recorded William that you shall be known to most good folk as William the Bastard. Goodbye. Well, thank God we got out of there. I do not like that William. Where are we now? Looks kind of old. Based in the inscriptions and the building style. I would say we are in ancient Rome in the Senate complex. Ancient Rome, I only saw one family member from back then. His uncle was Julius Caesar. That makes him our 50th great grand uncle. Look, there are people coming. Keep quiet. We do not need any more dungeons. I think the one in purple is Caesar. The others are the senators and from the look on their face, they're not happy. You commoners, come up here. Join me in the senate today. This is a glorious day the 15th of March as I will be made emperor. Do not anger me. Come here or I shall have the guards take you. You will be the attraction at tomorrow's games as lunch for the lions. Move it. Yes these are. We are coming now. Put those red weapons here. There are no weapons allowed in the Senate. Just stand here and watch as history is made. Otherwise, it is the lions. Maybe you should just go home for today. It is not that great a day. Cloudy, possible rain. It would be better for you. Silence, slave. I shall not hear another word from you. I shall bid good day to my friend Brutus. It is your funeral, Julie, old buddy. Ah, Brutus, my friend. This shall be a glorious day in our history of Rome. I shall lead us to the greatest empire the world has known. No, stop it. You are killing your god. Jupiter above strike them down. And you too, Brutus. Get them and kill them. They will tell Antony what we have done. Kill them. Grab you buttons boys. We got to go quick. Press hard and hope for home. Oh, I so want to go home. No more of this ancestor crap. Dad? Dad? Come on dad. I need to use my computer. You can sleep on my bed. Come on dad. Wake up. Mom and Uncle Chris will be back from shopping soon. Lee, I am here. I am back. Oh it is so good to be back in our place. Back in your room where it is warm and safe. The key was there being my room. So save your answers story.com stuff and let me get in there please. Also, glad you are back from Nutty Land. Dad, you did not save it. All that work and it is gone. You'll have to redo all that. No Lee. I think that the ancestors can stay in the dim past. Living and loving you and mom and Natalie is enough for me. We are what is real right now. The present. Hope you like the ancestry.com addict videos.
Please look for the loves of a Beatlemaniac soon.